Okay, it's time for tales from my childhood. When I was a teenager, no one had a cell phone. We actually used CB radios for a while to try to find and meet up with my friends on a Friday night. Kids today are so lucky to be able to send a quick text to their friends. Parents are lucky too to always be able to track down their kids to check in. But deciding when the right time is is tricky and involves some serious pre-planning beyond choosing what color or brand. I asked KXOI viewers on Facebook today, a couple of people said there's no reason whatsoever for a child to have a smartphone. Amber said her daughter's 11. She has an old phone she can only use to text family. The expert ABC News spoke with says no child under the age of 10 should have a smartphone, though I'd argue it's up to your family and what you need. Many of you chimed in to say your child has a smartphone but has strict rules to follow, which apps they use and even unrestricted parental access to the phone anytime you want. And it's those rules and parameters experts say are key to making this work for your family. It's also important to talk to your kids about the dangers online, predators, scammers, and bullying that happens away from the watchful eyes and ears of adults. I always say to parents, monitor, 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 and be engaged with your child so that he or she feels comfortable talking to you if there are problems with a handheld device. And that's something else we didn't have to worry about as kids without cell phones. When we were young, you could escape the stress of school and friendships by going home, staying in. Now, constant access and connection on the smartphone makes it almost impossible to escape. That's why monitoring your child's phone and requiring them to leave the phone outside their rooms at night could help bring peace of mind. Yet they still have a way to call for a ride if they need one. I'm Melissa Luck, KXLY4 News.